So the art of Brian Shearer volume one has started shipping and I have a new intro video. So I spent uh, today taking my header that I'm using on all my social media platforms and um, I've realized, someone told me that I was, they were reading way in the last and they found me in here, didn't realize I was the same person uh, and that's kind of a branding problem. So I've made a header with Optimus Prime and all the characters that I've, uh, a lot of things I've worked on and, and commissions and things. It's at the top of the thing, you've seen it and you just saw it in the video. But uh, I realized when I was racking my brain trying to come up with a way to whatever video I wanted to do, I realized I could animate that uh, very simply in Adobe Premiere. So, which is the software I use for doing these uh, videos when I do it on the computer, not the phone. And um, so I just played, there is a, I actually live streamed kind of putting it together. So if you're interested in how that worked in Adobe uh, Premiere and you're interested in um, just kind of the process, uh, there's about a 20 minute video. Uh, it's probably under the live stream stuff. Live stream videos are weird because they don't pop up in the, um, right away in the, in the like recent uploads. I don't know why that is, but, um, you see the process of, of using keyframes. Um, and if you're interested, it might help you. So I had to, I, I kind of blunder along figuring things out. Um, I'm trying to do slow more animation kind of things, stepping up the game here at uh, the Brian Shearer YouTube channel. Uh, also, the Kickstarter for um, the art book. Where's my art book? Here it is. Uh, sh I, I shipped one, so technically it started. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot how to focus because I'm moving around here. So, Art of Brian Shearer, Volume 1. Every um, book gets a sketch, custom sketch, character of your choice. Um, and it's 116 pages of art and... Uh, different uh, things, a little commentary and a bunch of, uh, bunch of different things I've done. So, um, I almost, I panicked for, <laughs> for like half a second in the, uh, post office because I, and I'm sorry, but I'm moving around and the, the camera keeps refocusing. Um, I'll try to be still. So I went and the books weigh just over a pound. So that places me out of first class mail and I had it in a nine by 12, um, mailer, like uh, a stiff mailer. And it was going to be like 12 bucks. And I was like, crap, did I just completely underestimate the shipping cost on my Kickstarter? Fortunately, uh, a very competent postal worker grabbed a, uh, flat rate like bag and just put it over. And she said, if it fits in this, it's seven bucks or eight bucks, whatever. It's cheaper. It saved me five bucks. It was within the range of, uh, shipping cost. It fit, so <laughs> good to go. Um, the other uh, commission stuff will be, uh, the bigger ones will be um, uh, like shipping commissions, I think. I think that'll be, because this will be 11 by 17. So um, so anyway, I've started uh, shipping that stuff, and um, I've got some commissions to mail out. So some of you are waiting on commissions, and I am open for commissions uh, for New York Comic Con and Baltimore which is a month away, just about. And uh, tomorrow I will be in, uh, tomorrow and Sunday, August 18th and 19th, I'll be in Charlotte at the Charlotte Comic Con. So that's just a little you know, business stuff. So I've started live streaming and I've, I've realized that um, as I've live streamed more and I'm doing more videos, uh, there is a discrepancy between my subscriber count, which is going up, getting higher, but my views are getting lower not low but they're not really going up they kind of they were up and then they're very slow to climb i'm only getting like a few hundred on the vlogs and things so um i'm trying to get better at the um video end of things and that's the thing about being freelance and i've done you know vlogs on this before is that you're you're the factory that makes the thing over here and then over here you're the marketing department and the shipping department and uh, whenever you, whenever shipping goes to work, the factory shuts down. And whenever the accounting and marketing works, the factory shuts down. But when the factory's going, marketing shuts down because it's pretty much just you. Uh, I do have help with, uh, um, you know, my friend Chris. Those of you who watch the channel know Chris. He comes over and helps me uh, a, a little bit here and there. 
So um, I've, I think really consistency is the, the most important thing as far as just like marketing, uh, just posting stuff. I, I found that um, I posted a lot of art th on Twitter last night. I was just kind of hanging out and going through old folders. And I was just posting like a lot of stuff that I've posted two or three times before, right? And a lot of people were seeing it for the first time, even people who have been following me for a while. And the thing that I'm, I've realized, and I kind of knew this, but I'm realizing to what extent this is true. And that is that the, the algorithm and the cycle and how fast things cycle through Twitter specifically, that you, can, you as an artist feel like you've posted something, it's out there, it's done. And whatever reaction you get is, well, that, that didn't work, right? Well, you have to keep, like don't spam it, but maybe once a quarter or twice a year or have a go through and repost things um, because there's a lot of noise out there. And I, I think that for me, I get, just get tired, <laughs> not, you know, physically, but just mentally it wears you down because you feel like, oh, I got to do this again. I got to post this again. Got to do this again. Got to do this again. Well, that's, you know, yeah, you do. Uh, so the, the, the thing to avoid is once you start feeling like, you don't want to do it anymore is probably when you really need to push through and just get in the habit of putting your stuff out there. If I was more organized, um, and if you're a more organized person, this might work for you. I know I'll never do this, but have a schedule of, you know, when you're going to post things like every month or whatever. Uh, maybe I will try to do that. I don't know. So anyway, just a few thoughts. Um, I, uh, am going to, uh, try to get things together for the show tomorrow. Uh, check out some of my uh, other videos. Uh, the I'm just started doing interviews. I did an interview with Shannon Gallant and Doug to Naple. Um, live streaming um, some character, just drawing stuff. So uh, check that out. Subscribe, share the link, um, and I will see you next time.